But here's the thing, at the end of the day, for all intents and purposes, when he started that show, when he started that calling show, he became um, a social media influencer, uh, for all intents and purposes, an entertainer. And when you're in the entertainment industry, sometimes you get shticks or gimmicks, whatever you want to call it, persona and develop a persona. So what he was doing online was a persona. So Vivica A. Fox, she's been in the industry for many years. She also has a persona. And so having that intricate knowledge about how Hollywood works, she definitely should have not crossed that line. Because when he started his show, after he, it started getting momentum, you can't tell me he didn't employ at least 10 to 15, like a good quarter of the female that called in were employed by him. You can't tell me a good quarter of the females that called in were not employed by him. Like rehearsed it and just, you know, we're going to just ad lib and just act like I'm ripping into you. You know, that that's that reeks of Hollywood. That's how they do it in Hollywood. It's all smoke and mirrors. And again, you know, that was free therapy. He's not a licensed therapist. Um, he was disciplining them. And that's what they was lacking. Because they refused to see, say, you know, they want to say everything. But they're the problem. They want to blame it on, um, you know... The, the way they was raised, and one of the uh, my ex husband, or you know, mom issues, dad issues, they want to say everything, but it's me, and that's what Kevin Hart, or uh, excuse me, Kevin Samuels was doing. He was putting them in the box to say, It's me, I'm the one, what can I do? Because a lot of them, when he was calling them fat and calling them this and that, he was like cutting them down a notch and letting them see they're the problem. I'm like, what makes you think you deserve this when you're this? Because you're talking like you're all that and you're only this. So this is what you're not seeing in the mirror. You're seeing everything but what it is. That's the you know picture he was painting. And sometimes you got to crush people like that every once in the blue moon. To bring them down to reality. Now, now, if you're trying to bring somebody to reality when you uh, when they ain't even invited you into your their world for you to bring them down into the reality, then you're doing too much. Then you're doing too much. But he wasn't doing too much. They caught on to his platform. So they know what they signed up for. Because the first thing he asked every single, you can go back online and watch every single last episode. He would ask, have you seen my show before? Yes. Then you know I don't play that, right? Right. Don't over talk me, right? Okay. But then what they do, they over talk him, try to get that last word, and you wasn't fin to do it on his platform. So... He wasn't singling out black men, or black women, excuse me. Um, he just wasn't. He wasn't singling out black women. So I don't even know where that information came from that he was just singling out black women. He can't control who calls into his show because everybody was women, men, black, white, Italian, Asian, everybody. The whole, he had like... Every type of ethnicity you can think of calling into his show just to clash wits with him. And so that's what people was doing, getting bored and want to argue. And he, they found the right one. He's just like, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to hang up on you. 
You know what? He kind of reminds me of a really toned down, well dressed um, Cameron. He got that Cameron energy. Like you're not going to over talk talk me. You're not going to um, out argue me. You're not going to over talk me. So that's all I want to say on that is um, my final thoughts on that is just don't speak ill of the dead. That is not indicative to our culture. That is not who we are. Whatever grievance you had with a person when they were alive, when you're when they were alive, that's when you should have addressed it. And for some odd reason, the meeting of the minds never happened. You never got a chance to run up on them when they was alive. Well, you know. That's karma, that you never met them, that they never responded to you. That's the karma. I'm, that, the karma is I'm not going to argue with you. So if you didn't argue with them in life, don't argue with them in death. It's over and done with. Don't kick somebody when they're already down. That's not in our culture. I don't know where we got that, kicking somebody when they're down. Well, I know where we got that. We got it. Where we got it from where we got all our bad habits from. Yeah, because that's their nature to do that, to act like that and behave like that. That's not our nature. All right. So this will end this live broadcast. This is the narrative podcast. Um. This is episode 86, so I'm broadcasting live right now, but when I share it back to to all my platforms um, or wherever you get your uh, podcast from, download this episode of the Narrative Podcast hosted by Harzi Allen. Download all previous episodes of the Narrative Podcast. Next month is my one-year anniversary of the Near the Podcast. Thanks for all the support. Um, yeah, thanks for all the uh, vocal and non-vocal support of my platform. As you're seeing the growth, you're seeing that I keep growing and growing. I did not have a, um, a itinerary when I started out. I didn't know what I was going to do. I was just talking. So now you see I went from just um, talking to actually uh, a streamlined, uh, I'm trying to search for the word, uh, a stream, <laughs> a streamlined uh, schedule. That's not the word I want to say, but I can't think of what I want. But um, yeah. A format. Yeah, that was the word I was looking for, a format. So I went from not having a format at all to a format. Uh, I got a a professional-sounding bumper. So next incarnation, and you'll start seeing ads. You know, on all the uh, major platforms, you'll probably start seeing um, narrative podcast ads hosted by me. Um, and eventually, I'm going to get transition from audio to the video. I'm going to have all kinds of stuff. I'm going to be having uh, guest merch. Everything's coming along. I'm not going to um, tell you when. I'm going to just, you know, it'll just be... Um, the link when I'm at the link in the bio type instead of just saying this is coming out and that's coming out just when it comes out I share it with you on how to get it or how to get up on it or whatever whatever but um this will conclude this uh, live broadcast of the near the podcast so like I said um, download this episode and our previous episodes of the near the podcast hosted by me and then um, also support my poetry blog. I write poetry. It's called Halsey's Poetry Corner. The tagline is Poetry with the Passion. 
Poetry for All Occasion. It is on blogger.com at www.mrhodgesblogs.com. I have well over a uh, 200 poems, or well over 100 poems, like it, really close to two. Um, had it for quite a while. Um, so today, yesterday's entry, I'm trying to think of the title right now, punch up the title of it. Okay, so yesterday's entry was called titled Thankful Reminder. So go hit that up and um, leave me a comment. Go to the link www.mrhodgesblogs.com and leave me a, a comment on that poem. You can also support the blog by uh, following Halsey's Poetry Corner, uh, sharing my poems on your digital platforms, Facebook, uh, Twitter, wherever, IG, anywhere you see a uh, Hodges Poetry Corner link, share it. And um, yeah, man, check me out this weekend with a full edition of the Narrative Podcast. So, hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. This has been the Narrative Podcast. Your host, Halsey Allen, signing off. Check me out this weekend.